I like to tell people a bad news, good news story. The bad news is that unsustainable agri-food systems are a key driver of environmental degradation worldwide. They're a key driver of biodiversity loss, land degradation, climate change, and of water pollution. The good news is we know that agri-food system solutions are climate solutions, but that's not enough. Only 22% of climate financing went to agriculture and land use solutions in 2020. FAO's partnership with the Global Environment Facility is helping countries scale up those solutions. For example, when we invest in climate smart livestock, we reduce greenhouse gas emissions, improve grassland biodiversity, and boost the productivity and income of dairy farmers. When we invest in integrated water resources management, we give farmers a chance to grow more diverse crops and improve soil health when they don't have to rely on unpredictable rains. We need commitment from parties at COP28 to invest in agri-food systems to close the climate financing gap. At FAO, our Jeff projects are about more than just the environment. They're really also all about people, empowering smallholders, women, youth, indigenous people, making livelihoods more resilient to improve the productivity of farms, forests, and fisheries.